Hello everyone, welcome to lab 5.3.1.5 from Big Data and Analytics course from Cisco. This lab is about internet speed compliance and here we have two parts. In the first part we uh, will know how to determine uh, if the delivered internet speed complies with the provider's contract and of course we are going to use the data um, base or called uh, RPI data.compact. We already worked with this data before in one of the previous labs, however. By the way, uh, as you now see, I am on Google Colab and um, so I need to upload the file to the Google Colab and then I can work with it. Alright, for this scenario, I think it's important here to read this scenario because this lab is a bit different um, with what we have done so far. So in the first part of the lab, you will learn how to answer questions in a scientific way with data, of course. You will use descriptive statistics and plots to determine the internet speed and visualize the results. Your analysis will be carried out using scikit-learn, pandas, and matplot. In the part two, we will talk about it in the lab. Okay, so first we need to in, like uh, import the models we are going to use. So as you already see here, our three well-known models to now, pandas, matplot, numpy, and uh, we draw inside the page itself. So that's why matplot helped. Okay, so here importing the labs, then we need to import the uh, data and here you just come and copy path from here and paste it here and then to see that the data uh, is imported successfully okay so here is the data is imported and now we need to drop the first column then i use now drop you can use delete for the column it's like but i'm here using a drop method and i specify the column's name and the uh, x axis is one, and in place through that, I'm going to draw the uh, column from the, the data itself or from the data frame, and then a list or head to see the data how it looks like now without the first column. Then in the next part, uh, we are uh, going to find or ca calculate how many non values are there. So if we were on this one, so uh, here. Uh, we have like uh, non values there, uh, and then we info to calculate the number of non values. So, as you can see here, we have 680 and here 670. So, there are here two non values, and here we are have 780 minus 3. Then, this is the uh, like after that, we drop the non value. Then, again, we check the values here and you can see there are no non values anymore we also can make sure double of that we can use this again here and we will see now all values here 673 there are no non values um, anymore okay this is the advantage of the info method okay so next we need to uh, change the values of the pink and the download from object to float then we use two lambdas functions we did also this before and after that we are going to save the output to um, another file called rpi data processed.csv the cleaned version and the index is false that we don't need to create another index here and the file should be generated here this is the file just generated Okay, so the next step we will do the analysis and the um, analysis and uh, here um, we have to generate the figure and the figure will subplot. I will explain in the lab how to understand the subplot using Colab. And then uh, we have uh, the T for the time for the X axis and for the Y axis we will uh, draw the pings and then we draw the upload and then download from TF Compact and then we insert the legend and here in the box now not on the figure out so that's why it's P box to anchor, to anchor and then we get the dimension of it and then the plot show so we will have the figure here one more time this is here 
and then we record the acceptable value in a variables so here for the accepted acceptable upload is 13 for acceptable download is 88 for acceptable pink is 20 okay so we assign these variables and according to this we are going to generate three histograms and to do this we have to assign like four um, histograms here we have an array of two by two so here we have two and here we have also two this is, is not disabled as the effect of the last line here however here we specify the histogram of the pins and the um, the bins is going to be 25 25 sorry and the red the edge color is red so this is why it's here the red and then we acceptable value is going to be represented by the yellow line and the vertical with the width 3 and the title is going to be pink. The same we repeat for the upload and for download. You will do the same of course in your own um, lab or in your own practice when you do this file lab by yourself. However, uh, this file is as usual, is can be downloaded from the description box and then you can use your own um, machine and do the lab and practice with it. Okay, let's return back to the lab and let's continue now with the third part here for to draw download. And here again, we have the color red and then the download red and then we have three figures. The fourth figures is disabled. Okay, so next we will compute the mean of standard deviation for each of the three um, features, I mean being download and upload. So we define the mean with DF compact and we define the standard with this method here. By the way, you can also use a descriptive uh, or, or describe method. However, let's do it like this because we already this, did this method in one of the labs before. Uh, so here we calculate the mean for the ping and the standard deviation for the download and the, for the upload and then we print them in this format. Okay, so we will have the output here. You will read it and we will read it and I am sure that you can analyze how to do, how, how to read the output from here. If not, please remind me in the lab. In the next step, we need to calculate the percentage of downloading speed measurement, uh, measurement that are not applicable all right, so the first import, so here we will have like 11% measurement are lower than the acceptable range. However, the important point here is this. So it's if it's not clear what is there. So actually here we have a value, the first value from the download and we compare it. If it is bigger or if it is less than, than the acceptable download, then it's going to be false. If not, then it's going to be true. And then the sum is going to count how many true or false. And then we divide it over the length. And this way we calculate the average. Okay, so if you will take this only. And then let's insert a new tail. So as you can see here, we have false, false, and then when with the sum, we are going to change the false to 0, 0, 1, and then count the number of ones. So how many times that the download was less than acceptable, uh, the acceptable downloading uh, variable, and that is here. It's lower. For this one is bigger or higher. This one again is lower. Okay, this is the trick here. If you still like confused about this, so please let me know. All right, then we also need to find the percentage of measurement that failed to satisfy the criteria. Here also we have the same idea here. And in the last, we also need to find the percentage of the fail um, that failed to satisfy your criteria here also. And this is the percentage now there are or here are the percentage for the analysis. Okay, that's all for this lab. I will let part two to discuss um, or to solve it all together in the next class. I mean in the lab when we solve or when we review this lab together. Okay, thank you. And please let me know if you have question or questions and I will see you in the next lab from chapter 6.